So now we have the center of the star cooling. And as a result, the gravitational forces in the star now winning over the expansive forces. The star now starts to rapidly collapse in on itself. Of course, the star collapses, the pressure increases, and so does the speed of the nuclear fusion creating the iron also increases at the same time and again accelerates the speed of the collapse. However, outside of this iron core, there are layers of oxygen, carbon, helium, hydrogen. These areas don't have clearly defined boundaries, not even purely one element. Instead, each region gradually changes into another, where the dominant element present alters as you go out further from the center of the star. These outer elements now accelerated towards the centre of the star. Movement is fairly slow during the initial part of the collapse, but as the rate of iron fusion increases, they accelerate rapidly towards the centre. And as a result, they built up considerable momentum, reaching up to a quarter of the speed of light. As these elements get closer to the centre of the star, their rate of nuclear reaction now speeds up. Initially, the energy generated is balanced out by the fusion of the iron, but soon the heat starts to build up again. Soon the fusion energy generated by these outer elements starts to be greater than the gravitational force generated by the star, but the momentum of the outer shells going towards the centre of the star is so great that decrease in velocity is only slowly in happening. That means eventually when they do come to a complete halt, the fusions are happening so fast the temperatures within the star can reach 5 billion degrees. Now with no momentum dragging the, these outer elements in towards the centre and massively rising temperatures, the balance of the forces are now pushing these elements out from the heart of the star. The expansion forces in the heart of the star overcome the gravitational collapse. As a result, the star goes supernova, scattering 90% of the mass of the star over the nearby area, lighting up space in a spectacular display. Well, this resultant scattering of the outer elements of the star, mainly hydrogen, the smaller proportions of helium, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and even tiny amounts of iron and heavier elements, creates the basis for life. The hydrogen go on to form distant, smaller, longer lasting stars like our sun. Other elements can form the rocky planets and gas giants that we are familiar with. Without these heavier elements, life as we know it couldn't exist. Which is why people sometimes say we're all made of stardust. So we're all made up from the elements that are scattered across the universe by an exploding supernova. However, the supernova isn't the end of the original star. Whilst it may have lost the majority of its mass, the star still has the remains of that iron core, possibly about twice the mass of our sun. Also, our sun has a radius of around 700,000 kilometres. The remnant of the star can have a radius of just 10 kilometres. To make this star one of the densest objects in our universe. In fact, it's only, only surpassed, as far as we know it, by a black hole. This remaining star is known as a neutron star. And it's a rather curious object. Because the star is being reduced to a, such a tiny volume, the speed at which it rotates has increased massively due to the conservation of angular momentum. This can mean the star is rotating several hundred times per second as it spins on its axis. Whilst the star shortly before its collapse did have an iron core, what is left really can no longer be considered as part of our normal view of elements. Most of the electrons that made up part of the star have now been fused with protons to create additional neutrons. And all of those neutrons form a dense cloud, which can actually just be considered almost a single atom made up of trillions and trillions of neutrons. Hence why the star is called a neutron star. However, not all neutron stars are alike. In the next video, we'll look at the varying properties of these mysterious stars.